Halloween. Ugh. Not gonna lie, it's not my favorite season ever. I'm not a fall girly, but this year I'm gonna try to pretend. I didn't decorate for Halloween the past two years because I was away. Finally, I have the opportunity to use some Halloween decor I bought forever ago and actually get all festive. I'm gonna give you a little haul. Ugh, my God, I'm literally gonna kill somebody. That would be a festive spirit, actually. Murdering someone? That's pretty Halloween vibes. We have this guy, which still has a tag on it from the dollar store. If you're ever wondering, you know, like, where does Annie get her Halloween decor? It's the dollar store. This is definitely not related to Halloween. Um, <gasps> it works. I have a bunch of like random little pumpkins that I think I found on the side of the road a few months ago. Finally, Peppa Pit, oh, sorry, George. No, that is Peppa. I got this guy. He's been hanging on my door ever since August. I just haven't felt like getting rid of him. I honestly think that him hanging on my door is like protective against like bad spirits and stuff or like someone breaking into my house. I don't know how my brain works, but for some reason I just associate him being there with like me being safe at night when I go to bed. Am I delusional? Yes. And why am I admitting this to my camera right now? Halloween. Out with the old. In with the new. That is literally so pathetic. Kind of funny there. I like that. The next problem is that I don't have anything to hang it with. I can tell that last year I tried to tape it. I'm not sure how that worked. That's kind of cute, I guess. No, it's not. Who, who am I kidding? shoes my converse literally just ripped and now you can see my socks buying new converse is not in my budget this month hello today is not the day i failed my driving test down here breaking my favorite shoes Okay, it's all done. But the whole point was to keep it on this side of the room. That way, for the background of my videos, one more thing. No, it's Halloween. <laughs> Actually, I like this one more. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, okay. Now I'm excited. This, this is fun. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today is October 21st, and I have some updates for this Halloween vlog. Something kind of shocking. Oh, that's staring at me right now. <laughs> my new cat. <laughs> I think it's scared of this. Let me hide this. This is for later on in the video. But this is my new cat. I'm not really sure what her name is yet. She came into our life a few days ago because a friend dropped her off. But I think she's absolutely perfect for Halloween because she's an all black cat and I thought it fit very well in today's video. Leave me some name suggestions down below in the comments actually. By the time this vlog is out, I'll probably have named her by now, but it's been a few weeks and um, we still haven't named her yet. As you can tell, she's really, really happy about that. I found these in storage and I forgot my dad gave them to me a few years ago and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I have no Halloween costume ideas, so I'm just gonna put this to use and I'm gonna dress up as like a butterfly. I don't know. The reason I'm doing this today is because tomorrow night I have a party. We're all supposed to come in costume. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm actually making friends. Oh my God, I was invited to a party. <laughs> My homeschooled self is screaming right now. Anyways, come with me while I design a cute little like red costume. Oh God, guys, I think I have too many clothes. This is full of tops and then I have all of these. <laughs> I have a red top somewhere in here that I think would be perfect that I never ever wear. And I've been keeping it for an occasion like this. Ah, there it is. I thrifted this a while back and I think I've worn it like once. I feel so stupid right now, oh my God. Dude. The wings are a little lopsided. I'm gonna have to adjust them to make sure they're not like flying all over the place. I guess the top is fine. It's kind of stupid looking. I could wear all red. I don't know though. My plan kind of backfired. <laughs> the wings are like falling apart. There's red stuff all over my room. They're really, it's like I'm trying to learn how to fly, bro. So I added this little purse that I wore to RDC a few years back and these shoes that I never wear. They're very high and uncomfortable, but I'll figure it out one day. One day being in the next 24 hours before the party. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hey guys, um, subscribe to Annie's- I'm leaving him over there. So this is the outfit. <laughs> Make sure the wings don't like go everywhere. I added tights because it's raining today. I have little butterflies in my hair. I have butterfly earrings. The party's in like 30 minutes. Guys, I'm finally going to a party. <laughs> Stop, don't laugh at me like that. Guys, she's living life. She manifested this. And I'm holding someday, I'll be falling. But for now, I'm only people watching. We're crazy. <laughs>
I vlog. Taste test, test of in and out for the first time. As a born and raised Californian, my mom would be so disappointed in me right now. What do you think of the burger? It reminds me of 7th grade when I had to get food from school. Bye. Tomorrow is Halloween and I decided that last minute I want to hand out affirmations <laughs> as like trick-or-treating stuff. Oh my god, this doesn't make sense at all. Let me explain. I've never passed out candy or anything before because I've never really lived in a neighborhood where I can do that. So this year I finally have the opportunity to pass stuff out, but my problem was I don't want to pass out candy. I don't want to pass out water bottles because then it's wasting plastic. And I don't want to like give people my actual glass cups because then people might think I'm trying to poison them. So I could give affirmations away. <laughs> Just like sweet little messages on paper in a bowl and you like pull one out and it says like you're beautiful or something. I've never seen that before and I'm going to be the first one to do it. So, but here I I'm gonna write down a bunch of things on these pieces of paper. I have some salad, I have YouTube, I'm ready to go. I am obsessed with tiny homes. This living room with a TV. Really big bedroom. And somehow there's also a really big bathroom. So I wrote a few of them. You are enough as you are. Everything is gonna be great. Imagine where you could be next year if you started now. Give yourself a hug, like all these cute little things. It's actually kind of a fun gift idea to like maybe put these all in a little box for a friend or something. I don't know, but I'm hungry and I'm tired. So I'm gonna finish this up and um, 